What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today the final version of iOS 12 has dropped. So in this video, I wanna go over everything that you're gonna to need to know, as well as some of the biggest features that you should expect in iOS 12. Now I'm also doing a giveaway of a brand new 256 gig iPhone 10. Now this phone is jailbreakable as well, if you're into that. So if you guys want to enter to win this, then be sure to check the link in the description. So speaking of jailbreaking, if you upgrade to iOS 12, you obviously are going to lose your jailbreak because iOS 12 is not jailbreakable. So let me know in the comments if you're ditching your jailbreak for the new iOS 12 or if you're going to stick with your jailbreak for a little bit longer. Now, if you're on iOS 12 GM or Golden Master, then you don't really need to upgrade to the public version of iOS 12 because it's going to be basically the exact same build. And once Apple comes out with a new update like 12.0.1, then you're going to get that upgrade on your device and you'll be able to upgrade from there. And that update usually comes pretty quick just because once they release a brand new iOS to the public, there's little bugs that need to be squashed. So usually the first iterations of iOS are pretty quick. So first let's start with the biggest changes that you're gonna see on the iPhone 10. So don't expect a massive redesign with iOS 12. It was expected to be an update to squash bugs, get rid of little annoying things, and just overall run a whole lot smoother. But one thing that did get a big change is you have grouped notifications, which is something that has been long overdue in iOS. So as you can see here, you have a whole lot more control over these notifications. Not only do they look a whole lot nicer, they're easier to manage. Now within the settings, you can actually change these uh, just depending on what you decide to group automatically or just by the app. A group FaceTime now supports up to 32 people. If for some reason you want to FaceTime with 32 freaking people, are you kidding me? Why in the world would somebody want to? Next, you have a nice little good morning widget when you wake up in the morning. So you're not barraged with notifications right when you wake up. That way you can dismiss it when you're ready to start tackling your morning. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't use Animojis and I don't really either. I don't really get it. I literally don't know anybody that uses Animojis, but maybe it's for the kids. Apple love the kids. But not only do we get new Animojis like the koala, the tiger, dinosaur, and ghost, but you also get Memojis. Now these are Animojis that you can design yourself to make it look like you or whoever else you want. Now character creation is something that I spend a ton of time on in games. The more detailed, the better, but this just isn't something that I'm really going to use, but they did definitely do a good job of implementing it. Now, not only do you have new looks with the new Animojis and Memojis, but face tracking seems to be a whole lot better than it was in iOS 11. The eyes and mouth just seem to perform a whole lot better with this update, not to mention they've added tongue detection. So now you can stick your tongue out if you want to. <clears throat> Next is screen time. Now this is a big one. This feature allows you to keep track of your iPhone or iDevice usage in a single app. This way you can see where you're spending most of your time and find out if you're using your device too much, which probably most of us do. I really like this added feature just because you can not only track your usage, but you can put some limitations on apps themselves. So if you're spending too much time on Instagram, then you can add a limit to that app, maybe 30 minutes a day. And then after that 30 minutes, you get a screen that looks like this. Now you can obviously bypass it and continue looking, but it's just a nice little reminder to go outside and get a life. And this is also gonna be great for parents to limit the usage on their child's iDevice. Next is Siri shortcuts. And I think this is a really cool new feature that Apple's implemented. Maybe finally make Siri a bit more useful. And I'm actually really excited to see what some people are gonna come up with with this thing. So Siri shortcuts are very similar to an if this then that protocol, where if you say something to Siri, then she has the ability to do several things based off that single command. So you can set things up like in the morning, maybe you wake up and you tell Siri, good morning. And based off of that input, it could start a playlist on your Apple Music. Maybe it's your good morning playlist. And if you like to pick up Starbucks on the way to work, then it can order you a coffee. Based off that single command, you could have it pull up your maps and tell you how long it's gonna take you to get to a specific location, like your office. And I think it's really awesome and we're just gonna see a whole lot of people come up with some really interesting and clever ideas. So just for a short, simple demonstration, I set up Siri to open up the weather app when I said, what's it like out there? So let's give it a shot. Hey Siri, what's it like out there? So you can make the command anything you want to say and then have it set up to do whatever you want it to do. So I'm thinking about doing a dedicated video to Siri shortcuts just to do some more complex stuff and show you what it can do. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know by hitting the like button or leave me something in the comments. Now you also have some newly redesigned apps like voice memos, stocks, and the new Apple Books app, formerly known as iBooks. So the voice memo looks a lot better and still has all your familiar controls. The stock apps is redesigned and now has stocks at the top and then relevant news articles right below that for you to check out if you're interested. And Apple Books has a new look as well. However, I don't spend much time in any of these apps really, so probably the voice memos the most, and that's only on a rare occasion. AirPlay is also now available inside the music widget in the control center, so all you have to do is just 3D touch and then you'll see it right there in the top right hand corner. 
You can now ask Siri what your password is for particular accounts, and she'll pull it right up. Now you can also add an alternative face to Face ID, which might be a great idea for a family iPad once that's available. Now if you use third-party keyboards, and you're really gonna like this edition of being able to use dictation on those third-party keyboards. There's also Do Not Disturb Before Bed. So in the Do Not Disturb settings, just toggle the schedule to access the bedtime toggle. When it's enabled, the lock screen will dim, calls will be silenced, and notifications will only appear in the notification center until that scheduled Do Not Disturb ends. Another cool thing with Do Not Disturb is when it's turned on, you'll get a nice dark theme applied to your device. Now, it's not a true dark mode, but it makes things much darker, and even the music widget on the lock screen looks dark, and it just looks really nice. Something that's long overdue is you no longer have to hold down on the app cards in the app switcher in order to swipe them up to close them out. And Photos got a whole lot smarter, so it's more aware of events and object detection, and you have that nice little search tab down at the bottom to encourage more searching. So I think those are the biggest changes in iOS 12. Yeah, there's a ton of really small little UI changes and some changes that you may or may not even notice while you're going through your new iOS 12. But in this video, I just wanted to hit on the biggest ones just because these are the things you're going to want to check out once you upgrade. All right, guys, I want to make it short and sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to enter in the giveaway for the brand new 256 gig iPhone 10 that you can jailbreak, make sure you check that link in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.